let's get started with a very basic SMB environment or small medium business environment. I'm going to start off by using an Etherswitch router. Please note that in these videos, I'm not showing you how to import devices into GNS3. I've covered that already in a lot of other videos. So please have a look at those videos if you're not sure how to import devices into GNS3. So in this example, I've got a router connected to an Etherswitch module. Both of these are 3725 routers. And what I'll do is add an Alpine Linux host to the network. I'm only going to add one for the moment because I'm going to duplicate this device in a moment. So I'll start the topology up and open up consoles to the devices. So the router and the switch have booted and so has the Alpine Linux PC. So you can see as an example that router one is booted up and so has ESW1. So we told in the switch that we can use the command VL, which is an alias for show VLAN switch brief. So VL shows us the current VLANs on the switch. We only have default VLANs, such as VLAN 1, which is an Ethernet VLAN, and then we have token ring and FDDI VLANs, which are not really important in today's networks. This command allows us to add a VLAN to the VLAN database. This command allows us to delete a VLAN from the VLAN database. Show VTP status. We can see that this is a server. I'll set the VTP mode to transparent. That's per Cisco best practice. So show VTP status now. Notice the VTP version is two, revision number is zero. Maximum number of VLANs supported locally is 36. Existing number of VLANs is five, so show VLAN brief. This is not a switch, so that command is not supported. So show VLAN switch a brief allows us to see the VLANs in the VLAN database. Again, we only have the default of VLANs. So I'll create some additional VLANs, give them some names. A VL is the macro for the command show a VLAN switch brief, and that again shows us the new VLANs in the VLAN database. At the moment, no ports are in VLAN 10, 20, or 30. All Ethernet ports on the switch are in the default VLAN or VLAN 1. But what we could do is use the command interface. And typically on a switch, we would use a range, fast Ethernet, 1 slash 1 to 2. And I'm going to say switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. So show run now shows us that these two ports are in VLAN 10. Going back again, notice that some ports can't be used on the layer two ether switch. So you can't use these ports. You need to use ports such as fast ethernet one slash zero, one slash one and so forth. So show CDP neighbor will allow us to see if there are any neighbors. At the moment, we don't see anything. But show IP interface brief shows us that this port, fast ethernet 1 slash 0 and 1 slash 1 are currently up. Other ports are currently down on the switch. Show interface F 1 slash 0 switch port allows us to see that this port is configured as a layer two port. It's configured as a static access port and it's operating currently as a static access port. It's in VLAN one 
and this port is in VLAN 10, which is the sales VLAN. It's also operating as a static access port. So before I go any further, let's add some PCs so that the topology makes more sense. So in this example, it's a Linux-based PC. What I'm gonna do is edit Etsy network interfaces. And in this example, I need to do that with VI. Nano is not currently installed on this device. I'm gonna save the configuration and exit. And notice cat Etsy network interfaces now shows me that this PC is using DHCP. So that allows me to turn it off. And in this example, because I'm using GNS3 version 2.1, I can duplicate this node. So I've configured the nodes to use DHCP. So it becomes easy to duplicate with that configuration. So because I've configured the device with DHCP, that means that all duplicate nodes are also configured to use DHCP. So I'll add some links here. And then I can move the devices around to make the topology more pretty. Please note that I'm not trying to make the most pretty GNS3 topologies. I'm going to simply show you how to configure GNS3 networks rather than try and make everything look very pretty. So now that we've got these devices added to the network, what we wanna do is ensure that the devices are on the right VLANs. on the router. So I'm gonna put these two PCs in VLAN 10. This PC I'll put into VLAN 20, and this PC I'll put into VLAN 30. So back on the switch. These two ports are already configured in VLAN 10. This port needs to be put into VLAN 20, and this port needs to be put into VLAN 30. So interface F1 slash three, switch port mode access. That is the default, so you don't typically need to do that. Switch port access VLAN 20. Interface F1 slash four, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. So VL, which is a macro for show VLAN switch brief, allows us to see which ports are in which VLANs. So we can see that fast ethernet one slash one and one slash two are in sales, VLAN 10. This port is in VLAN 20. This port is in VLAN 30. The remaining ports are in VLAN one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please continue to give feedback of the devices and technologies that you'd like me to cover Please remember that I'm gonna start off slowly and I'm gonna bold and bold and bold until you're bored or until we run out of technologies to try. I wanna wish you all the very best.